Okay. Oh, there's something here. Charm of saving? Yes. Door is locked. Seems to be some kind of button. Oh, thank God. A kerosene lamp, which I can't take with me, apparently. Hmm. It's here. There's a clock on this table. That relevant? That important? Can't interact with it, so... I'm guessing not. Okay. Is this where I came from just now? Door is locked. This is where I came from just now. Aline, any more news? I'm here waiting for you. What are you doing? I can't find the room in which you say you're locked up. It can't be that tough. I'm upstairs. There's a staircase in the lobby. Okay, I'll head over there. Thanks. Hurry up. You could have said that to begin with, that you were upstairs. How was I supposed to know anything? All right. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to use one of my... Uh... Oh! Wow, way more than I thought I had. Sure. All right. I guess at least for now I can be a little bit more... Eh, a little bit more save eager. Ah, here we go. Hey, I can hear you. Can you see what's blocking the door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. It's a closet. Well, what if I don't want to? What if I don't want to push it aside, huh? What if I want to keep you in there forever and ever? All right, how do I push it? I can't seem to just push it. Whoops. Let's not waste bullets now, Edward. There we go. There she is. At last. And she undressed for the occasion. I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet. But I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> here, what the I got fuck, your Edward? Stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what? I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too what? dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. A moment Just ago, before, you were panicking and wanted to I leave. I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. But why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if That's I were a to terrible say no? fucking reason not to stay together. You're not the type to say no. Oh, thanks for the cleavage shot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Nice seeing you again. And a Native American posing in front of an underground door, framed by two monumental statues. Interesting. Different time. I'm gonna try to be better about that. I realized that when I read the notebook, I didn't correct it. Ooh, what do we have here? An acrobat statue. And a dictaphone. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. Uh huh. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the circle of stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. 
he was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, hmm. justifying himself. No, 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 I don't need to hear the whole thing again. Please, stop, no. I have always no, how do I stop it? Oh, damn it. When I would ask Sorry. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna have to listen to the whole thing again. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the Circle of Stones. All of this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself. All right, finally got out of that again. How dumb that you can't, like, stop it. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, that was the door. Oh, I see. I see. Hmm. Let's see what's on the other side of the bed here. Nothing on the table? Okay. Well, then. What about this door? Sealed up. And I don't have any keys or stuff. No. Let me examine that statue. Real quick. A stylized statue of a dancer. Probably Native American origin. I don't... Hmm. I do appreciate that, um... It's taken some inspiration from the other games in, in, the, in the fact that there's Native American magic involved. That was a thing in the others. So, that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, I guess we have some freedom to explore now. Double doors. Is there anything else here? Paintings. Ooh, hello. No? I want to make absolutely sure I can't go anywhere else on this floor first. Let's double check all the doors I saw. There's a couple doors here, and I think those are the main entrance to the mansion. Locked. Okay. And past the fireplace. Is there anything? The ashes are still warm, so that's worrying. I think that's where I came from. No, this is where I came from. And up. Oh. I know who you are and what you have come looking for. Okay, you're going to tell me the same about you? Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. Are you the I am the guardian of this island. The guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Good Professor question. Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But you are not answering my question, man. Wrong. You have come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. This is all Greek to me. <laughs> it will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books withhold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go, fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, wait. I didn't come here to fool around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. Charles Fisk. 50-ish, about 6'1", graying hair. I still do not know who that is. I have I'm no idea, man. <laughs> he's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. 
All right. Well, that was weird. You take a charm of saving. Thank you. I have quite a few of those by now. At least it feels like I have quite a few of those. All right. Wait. Isn't this... I thought this was where it came from, but nope, this is different. Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's starting to feel like Resident Evil. Now I have a lot of places to go and a lot of creepy shit that can happen wherever I go. So that's fun. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, no. Off me, off me, off me, off me. Shit, 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 shit. Die, you fuck! Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Woof! Um, I might want to use one of these. Okay. Well then. Something tells me that I need to start playing a little more carefully. I got them at least. Can we turn on some lights, please? Thank you. Lots of doors. Let's just explore this corridor. Oh! No. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Run. Can they be killed with regular bullets? Please, sir. Stay dead. Boy, these guys are, uh, they are hardy. They stay dead? Oh my god. You take quite a few shots, don't you? Please. Oh my god! And I'm officially out of revolver. Oh god, this is some shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that, now he died. And I am out of regular pistol ammo. I should have saved. Cool. This door is locked. Fuck. Don't waste ammo. God damn it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Lots of monsters. Um, let's do a little more exploring and hope I can find some ammo. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Box of phosphorus cartridges. Okay, some more shotgun shells. That's good. At least it's quiet in here, but there's a staircase. I don't really want to explore a new floor until, until I know for sure that I haven't missed something down here. There's nothing there. So, shit. All right. Fuck. No. Damn it. I'm not exactly swimming in bullets here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, no. HM. Uh, sure. A display cabinet with a ship model and some kind of balance. I'm sure that'll be important later. What's this? Okay. Fuck yeah. Ammo. More of that, please. Because I am, uh, I am a hurting. What a huge quantity of knowledge in the service of evil. Is this the library? You take a photograph. Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Head crap, get off me. You little shit. No, you don't. No, not the. No, up, 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 up. Son of a bitch. Off me, off me, off me, off me. Off me. Okay. Kill it. Okay. 
This could be going better. Anything else in here? I kind of want to see what that statue is about. The one on the table here, but I don't think it's relevant. What is this? A wolf mask. Okay. Interesting. Don't think it has anything to do with this. Uh, let's examine. A wooden wolf's head mask. Can I combine it with... Combine. The object cannot be used here. Okay. Ow! What just... What? Oh, wait, there's still one more of them. Fuck off! You little prick. I found something else in here. Did, oh, I found a photograph, which is probably in my documents. Yes. Black and white photograph of display cabinet containing an exploration ship and a flask. Oh, so I need to find a flask. Of some kind. Okay, noted. Uh, yeah, moving on through here. Plants. What else can we find? Anything here? No? Oh, health kit. Fuck yeah, I might actually use that right now. So I can get back to... Yeah, that's good. Okay. Nothing else back here, from the looks of it. Is that it? That's all there is to find here? If that's the case, then I shall be heading back and trying one of the other rooms. Hopefully monsters stay dead and this isn't like an infinitely respawning thing because I would be very upset if that's the case. Let's save. Right, let's see, where else can I go? That's upstairs. There was another room down here that doesn't lead upstairs that I want to explore first. I think it was back here. What is this? This figured statue. Alright. Door's locked. Door's locked. Through here, I believe, there were some monsters. Yep, sure enough! Wow, right at the door. Fuck. Well, that was a waste of a goddamn, uh... A goddamn medkit. Second guy, too. Uh oh, oh, you're a little close, buddy. A little close for comfort. Gotcha. Boy, I'm burning through bullets a little too fast. Don't love it. Right, let's look around here. Any more of these fucks in here? place is cramped. I don't love it. Mirror up there. Okay, let's not fuck with the door just yet. Nothing on that table? Okay. What do we have here? Yes, turn on the lights, please. Oh, got a crowbar. Is that a weapon? Nope. Only firearms. Shadow Island, April 12th, 1905. I, the undersigned, Richard Morton, being of sound mind and body, declare this document to be my last will and testament. Let no other take its place. Archibald, my son, the mission I undertook many long years ago is still vast and incomplete. I expect you and your des descendants to strive without respite for its completion. Respite for its completion. To this end, I bequeath you my goods and chattels, my estate and all it contains. Let Desero guide you. He will tell you what to do and how to do it. Archibald, I have often seen doubt cloud your youthful eye. Sometimes your glance betrays your disapproval. Indeed, I have sacrificed human life, but name me the conquest without sacrifice. Indeed, I have defiled almost every commandment in the Bible, but isn't morality always the first ca casualty of progress? 
What worth do a few miserable lives have compared to the immense discoveries, the enormous unprecedented advances that I've made? Archibald, I know you are no coward. I know that with Desertos' help, you will go far, much further than I ever did. You will be the one to venture into the unknown. You will set the foundations for a new humanity. I know that, because of us, the Morton name will shine with the light of a thousand stars in the great pantheon of history. My detractors will become the laughing stock of generations to come. Thanks to you and the confidence I have in Deserto, our destiny shall be fulfilled. Thus do I leave this world in peace. My library is my life's work. I wanted it to be a hexagon, the perfect form of six equilateral triangles representing the universe. It is a repository for 10 centuries of human knowledge, for worthless- Oh, uh, what? It is a repository for 10 centuries of human knowledge, worthless every word of it. I feel like there's a comma or a period missing every now and then. 10 centuries of empty hollow treatises, 10 black centuries of ignorance, vain and stupid reflections that remind us each day how vile and petty the human spirit is. 10 centuries and not one mention of the world of darkness. I understand now that humanity has let its destiny go by. However, four works are worth saving. Four works contain the true key. I've discovered a symbol that represents the worlds of darkness and of light. Two entities in equilibrium, one above the other. The one does not exist without the other. Two triangles juxtaposed in opposition. The one clear, the other dark. I place the four books vertically in the space in the library, representing this symbol. The symbol thus crosses the library from one side to the other. The first is placed the highest, the second is opposite. Light, darkness, light. Hmm. Okay, seems like a puzzle hint. And I'm sure it's in my documents now. Sure enough. Boy, documents are long in this game. Which isn't a bad thing, just something I've noticed. I'm- Speak of the devil, 18 fucking pages, are you serious? I'm nearing our goal. You need dar a camel drosti. Alan is so impatient. What passion and what madness. Otar den tiren ol bakdan. Clarity sometimes live in, must sometimes live in darkness, for from darkness light may spring. Hintar Wotengar el Duriu. It appears that the ritual must take place upon a precise date. Inheritors, guardians, rituals, gate, danger. I never cease to be amazed by the richness of this language. I pity those fools who could only look on me and mock. Where do these transcriptions of Grandpa Jeremy come from? Where did he find the inscriptions? Why did he never take me into his confidence? Alan has come up with an incredible theory. I must find out if it's true. Water from a deep source revives the man who thinks he's dead. Alan was right, again. I know he will always be better than me. As the text takes shape, its revelations become more terrifying. Beyond this threshold, the sun has never shone. He who has crossed it has never returned. This gate was built by a man from Firestone, so that the shadows would always dwell in night. Man sealed this gate with his blood, and the gods did order him. Man has not conquered the shadow. The gate brings no victory. It merely chokes the flow. A curse on he who opens it once more. My god, what are we doing? The last witch doctor will destroy the world of darkness. May humanity forgive us. It certainly sounds like there's a lot going on. Nothing here? Okay. First aid kit, always lovely. Am I in any way making a map by the way? Okay, cool, thank God. Except it doesn't show where I am, so that's fun. Come on, man. Oh, wait. Oh, these are light switches I've turned on. Well, that's good at least, but it would have been nice if it showed where on the map I am. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Doesn't seem like there's much else here, so you unlock the door. Oh, okay. Cool. Back in this hallway, then. Uh, uh oh. Whoa! Wait, I just killed those guys. Oh, is it because I left the lights off? I didn't turn on any lights? Well, that sucks. Well, fuck me. That blows. Alright, let's see what's up. Oh, no. I don't love this. Is the 
there anything here? I don't see anything yet. Where am I going? Oh, well, there's something important up here, from the looks of it. Turn on some lights, please. Thank you. Oh, hello. A grenade launcher. Oh, boy. I am getting freaking armed. Where are you? In the attic. I went through there. I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor. You'll see it. When you walk on it, it has a hollow sound. I met Edenshaw, the old Indian. He told me he was the last witch doctor. Okay. He says he can do something that will stop all this madness. Do you think we can trust him? I met him too. He seemed to know a lot more than he said. But I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow. Nope. He needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. Of course we can, but statues look still like? a valid question. I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Carnby, I'm sure yes, it it's does. really important. I know, I know. We'll find his statues for him. But after that, we're going home. And where is your home? I don't know yet. We'll get to that the later. The fuck was that line? Alright. Well, anyway, I already have a wolf mask, so, so far, so good. There's gonna be something terrible behind this door. Oh, well, it's locked, so... Who cares? Also, she mentioned a trap door. When you stand under it, there should be a hollow sound. Uh, is that important right now, or? So right here. But that doesn't change anything. I don't have a ladder or whatever. Can I use the crowbar to try and reach something? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be back here later. I feel like this place is going to be real confusing to navigate eventually. Guess uh, that map was not very helpful. At least not to me. Let's uh, get back out here. Let's check out the second floor. Can I get in there? Nope. It is locked. Okay, so I'm sure I have to do something to open that trap door in the attic then. Oh! I missed this before. I found the flask. Oh, crap. Crap. I might want to get the fuck out of here. Shit. Yeah, these, uh, these big guys are a bit of a pain in my neck. And they do respawn, so... That's... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck. Well. Not great. Not great. But now I know. Oh, there was another document in here the whole time. Abkhanis Amerindians. A link between two humani humanities. Yeah, humanities. This book is the result of research that I embarked upon more than 20 years ago. I'm aware that the theories, ideas, and thrusts and truths expounded herein have already engendered great hostility, not only from my colleagues, but also from anthropological and eth ethnological scientists who are more distantly related to my field. I know that history will prove me right. It is this conviction that drives me onwards on this narrow, treacherous path that I have chosen to take. Sorry. My passion for Abkhanis culture, language, and civilization started at a very young age. I owe this passion to two men. Firstly, to my grandfather, Jeremy Morton, who was a physician, mathematician, astronomer, philosopher, and magician, as well as a misunderstood genius. By the will of God, may mankind one day pay him the homage that is, that is his due. Secondly, to Joseph Edenshaw, who entered my grandfather's service in 1920. He may have been my tutor, but he was like a father to me. 
He may have been my master, but he was also my faithful servant. To my knowledge, he is the last living representative of the great Abkhani civilization. I am deeply grateful to them both. May, may Hegaton Chires bathe them both with his sweet eternal light. My detractors have often approached me for reproached me for elaborating the theories from which my convictions spring on the basis of limited, fragmentary, and unreliable sources. It is true to say that up until now, the material I've provided to feed my critic curiosity is scant. Three engraved stones and several dozen photos of, of inscriptions taken from the walls of grottoes found on an island off the coast of Boston. Champollion, however, persuaded the world of his convictions with only the Rosetta Stone. On the basis of my evidence, I can confirm that a highly evolved form of Vulcani civilization with a complex writing system appeared in the northeast of what is now the United States 15,000 years ago. This civilization has a rich history that is more extensive than even our Judeo-Christian civilization. Unlike other human civilizations, it never sought to extend its territories to conquer others or migrate. It should, be, it should not be forgotten in this respect that the word Abkhanis itself means guardian in their language. Since my first publications on the subject appeared in certain specialist reviews of limited circulation, articles have appeared which claim the Abkhanis are the descendants of a race of extraterrestrial origin. What, we have aliens now? This discredited my research greatly, and I feel compelled to say that such randings are completely unfounded. The Abkhanis are anything but extraterrestrials. Abkhani society was not organized around the family unit, but on a community structure. From the age of 12, Abkhanis men and women both embark, without sexual discrimination, on the same initiation rituals which last 12 long years. At the end of their initiation, they are, they are accorded the status of guardian. It is at this point that different religious, military, and household functions are attributed. The Abkhanis were cave dwellers, however. Their religion was not based on fire, but on light. Oh, the Abkhanis were cave dwellers. However, their religion was not based on fire, but on light. They developed an elaborate pantheon of divinities, which became the cornerstone of their daily life. Ancient Abkhanis religious worship was expressed through a set of different magical rituals in which light was central. It also appears that their designated enemies were forms of demons from hell that they called Drakkar Ani, or creatures of darkness. It is probable that this marvelous Abkhanis writing system, the deciphering of which I am still grappling with today, was perfected to determine specific roles for each ritual. Many questions remain unanswered, in particular how their writing operated. For most known civilizations, writing was first invented for commercial exchange, for listing possessions, for listings possessions, or for establishing contracts. The Abkhanis' one single preoccupation, however, seems to have been their role as guardian. Guardian of what, though? And against whom? These are both questions to which I think I will never find satisfactory answers. Okay. Uh, be ready with my regular gun. Which I might want to reload. Not that I have... Wait, hold on. Oh, I have way more... Okay. In other words, maybe keep this one out. Because I have way more ammo for that right now. Alright, so... Grab the flask, which summons these guys, and I'm just gonna bounce. Oh crap. Um, get me out of here. Oh, hold on. And I'm four filled with water. Oh, flask. You fill the flask. Cool. And then... Oh, wait, can I not turn on the light? that kill them? Oh, science. Obed Morton of Khanis language. Professor Morton's presentation immediately triggered passionate outbursts from the specialists present in the audience. For several years, Obed Morton, a world-renowned specialist in the history of Native Americans, has devoted himself to researching all available data about one tribe, the Abkhanis, of whom there is no living ancestral trace. Until today, Professor Morton has kept his research top secret. All we know about this research is that it received considerable financial backing from the Institute of Ethnology in Boston, as well as a significant slice of Obed Morton's own legendary family fortune. His research activity um, has been monumental, and it would take too long to detail the hypothesis and evidence laid down by Obed Morton. The thrust of the eminent ethno-linguist argument is that around 12,000 BC, the Abkhanis tribe conceived a highly developed complex writing system through the combination of signifying symbols. These astounding findings challenge not just our knowledge of North American Indian culture, sorry, but also what we know about the origins of languages and writing. Several specialists in the field present at this historic conference spoke out immediately against the professor's theories. 
For our part, we will merely state that a work of these proportions is beyond the scope of one man alone. All the same, this is exactly what the Professor Morton claims. Oh. Oh, right. So that I can, like, sneak out real quick. Forgot that. But that's cool. That helps quite a bit. So, let's maybe go back. Yeah, okay. Because now, I need to find that area where I put the flask. Which I believe is through here. Past these guys. No, shit! Damn it! I keep thinking I can run past them. And you should be able to, goddammit! But whatever. We have a flask with water in it. Let's put it here. Oh. Yes? So does that mean this picture is gonna move, or...? Ah, fuck. Am I supposed to remember where that picture is? Crap, I am. I don't remember where that picture is. Damn it. Okay, where the hell was that picture? I don't think it was back here, was it? No, that's just where I found health. Crap. I'm gonna have to fight these guys on my way back. Yep, sure enough. Out of my way, asshole. Shit. Damn it! I keep thinking I can get by them. I just want to save ammo. But maybe I should stop thinking of this as a, as a Resident Evil game. Okay, so where... Where was that picture? It wasn't up there. have to be back here then. Damn it! Do I really have to fight? Oh, wait, I made it past one of them. Son of a bitch! You can't be serious, I can't- it can't force me to fight these guys every time I have to go through here. There's gotta be some way to kill them permanently. Maybe a scientist. He's carrying a curious object. It looks like an astronomical telescope. Seems to be a locking mechanism. There's a metallic plate, but it is blank. Alright, so I went back up here, because I remembered I haven't actually checked this place out that much. And apparently these paintings are interesting. This portrait is quite recent. It exudes a strange melancholy. The character resembles the statue on the first floor. There seems to be a locking mechanism. There's a metallic plate, but it is blank. Okay, maybe the... Yes, there it is. Okay. Surely an explorer. He's carrying objects bandolier style. In the background, a ship is caught in the ice. Okay. Interesting. His fixed gaze sends shivers down the spine. On the table is a map of the island, and behind him is a strange statue. There seems to be a locking mechanism. It's a metallic plate, but it is blank. Okay. Door seems sealed up. I'm sure this is sealed up too. Yep, locked. Okay, so now I know to go up here after I use the... Uh, the flask with water in it. Okay, now let's see. Do you want to activate the portrait's mechanism? Yes. Oh, a key. You take a gilded key. Nice. And where do I use this? Examine. Gird F East. Okay. Ground floor East. I'm sure that means... So, let's see where that takes me. Oh, this is where it goes. Okay, good. Oh, oh whoa! Fuck, 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 off me. Nope. Let me just get some distance here. Fuck you! Fuck you! Woof! Okay. Right here. How's it going? 
I met someone called Edenshaw. And what'd you find out? He knows a lot more than he's saying. He says he never saw Fisk, the friend I told you about. Uh, what do you make of that? One of two things. Either he's telling the truth, and Johnson and his men are total bastards, or else he's lying, which means he's just one more suspect. What if Fisk came here, but decided not to show himself? What if he just stayed hidden? No, that's no good. I know how Fisk operates, and he would have had to ask questions. But maybe he never had time to. What do you mean? The monsters, the creatures. But Fisk died of a bullet to the heart. Oh, I see. Oh, or well. Actually, <laughs> I don't see. I'll go looking for Obed Morton. He has the answers to our questions. I'm starting to think otherwise. All right. I do love this radio mechanic. That is really cool. Anyway, let's look around. There's got to be some stuff here. Big old door I can't open. That's always fun. Nope. Oh, it's like a balcony door. That's eh, probably not that relevant. Let's see what else is in here. I see owl statues, so that's interesting. Nope, nope, let's keep the lights on. Ooh. What's that you're holding? Big glass ball or something. Small gilded key. Alright, wonder where that goes. Hello. A statue of an owl. Has a symbol on it. I can't grab the thing behind it. A weapon. The Mortis nurture a veritable passion for Native American cultures. Well, this statue. This looks interactable. Nope. Hold on, maybe if I turn off the light. Sometimes it's easier to see interactable stuff when you turn the light off. I've realized as I've been playing. But it doesn't seem the case here. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't suppose... Nope. Ground floor west. Uh-huh. Was I... Did I really only come in here for one key? Is there nothing else? Because that sucks. Couldn't there at least be a first aid kit or something? Shit. Oh, hold on. The wolf statue has the same symbol as this, so... I still haven't found anywhere to use that small gilded key, so that's fun. But let's see what happens. Ah! You find a key within the plinth of the statue. A steel key. Okay. First floor east. So upstairs. Okay. Ah, shit, they're back. Um. Cool. Escape through here. Wait, are there monsters down here too now? Oh, shit, there sure are. Nope. Nope. I don't wanna. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, cool, they can follow me upstairs. That sucks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nope! No, fuck! Damn it! Off me. Good lord. I am running out of, like, everything. No? God damn it, do these keys fit anywhere? <laughs> 